place. Yay, good boy. Down. What a good boy. Hey guys, Julie here, and I'm about to take a car ride with Mr. Swagger. And one thing that I noticed at the drop off was that he was barking from the car. Um, his owner couldn't even open the door without him just barreling out, um, which is kind of dangerous. But I want you to know that you can have a calm car ride with your dog. They don't need a restraining device. Um, you can just simply tell them down and then hold them accountable for the ride. And then it's a really peaceful ride. You're not constantly worried about your dog shifting the gears, jumping out the window, barking out the window. It's calm, it's quiet, it's safe, and it's enjoyable. So what I did was open the car door, tell him place, he gets in, I tell him down. Now my only job is to hold him accountable for keeping the down during the car ride. Good boy. Okay guys, so we just got downtown. We're heading to Baker Park. Lots of stoplights. Um, we just had a 40 minute ride and our boy Swagger has stayed down the entire time. Um, I'm keeping an eye on the stoplights and the stop signs because those are triggers for the dogs to pop up and the popping up leads to all the other behaviors that you complain about. Rushing out the door, pulling on the leash, barking. Uh, not paying attention to you. So we really want to stay tight with the car ride so that the rest of the outing is really nice and smooth. It's almost like setting the tone. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of Swagger's car ride. He is perfectly capable, as well as all dogs, to lay in the back seat calmly, no whining, no barking, no pacing, no jumping all over the place, um, and certainly no rushing out uh, when we stop and open the door. All right, we've just parked the car. As you can see, we're on a busy main street. So I'm about to open my door. And for safety reasons, we don't want our dogs bolting out for obvious reasons, but also for their state of mind. So when I open this door, the expectation is just look at me and wait for direction. Good boy. So I'm gonna reward that. So as I open the door, he is content waiting there because maybe I just need to get something. Maybe he's not gonna be invited out. Maybe I'm at a rest stop and I need to grab something. What I don't want is me opening the car door and before I can even get it open, he's falling out of the car. He's lunging out of the car. He's barking, you know, he's, he's gone. We don't even know where he went just now. What I do want is respect of the threshold. I open the door. His assumption is I stay until I'm either released or given another command. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's being really respectful. Good boy, I give the thumbs up and then I come in for a pet. And then because of this calm car ride, the rest of the outing is gonna be awesome. So to get him out, if I wanna get him out, grab the leash and I can either release him or I can recall him. Break. Good boy. 